Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I'm growing in Zone 9A, Houston, Texas. Ma'am, the temperature high today is 90. <laughs> but God, okay? So yesterday it was like 88. And I could say this, for the last four days we've had um, rain. <laughs> rain, friend. Like good rain. Like thunderstorm rain. I was all up in the rain yesterday, like, just cleanse me. I was so excited, the fact that I didn't have to wear it twice, okay, for the last couple of days. It has been extremely hot here. We've been having record temps where they'll say it's 108, 109, but it feels like 115 or something, like horrible temps. So, I'm excited about fall. We get to grow things here in Texas. We get to get a head start on fall if you kind of know how to do it, you know what I'm saying? That's me. I'm going to cover my stuff with some shade cloths, friend, to make sure I can get a head start on fall. But then I can also grow the same things I would grow in spring around this time because we get to have these warm temperatures. And I would say last year for Thanksgiving, it was 80 some degrees. Like It was still warm then. So it just depends. And I don't really see cool, cool where it's concerning into December a little bit, but January and February for sure. So, mm. It's about that time, friend. So then, I don't even know what we're going to talk about today. It's a lot I want to talk about. However, I need to do a separate video on the click and grow for them. Um, I need to contact them, actually. But I'm still going to show you what's going on with the click and grow. You can see one here. You can see one over here. Our power went out yesterday because it was been storming. <laughs> storming. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I thought that the power messed up my thing so i moved it from the stand over here over there just to make sure but it didn't it was the time it's the timer so when power when the when you plug in the click and grow whenever you plug it in the light comes on and that's when the clock starts for your 16 hours and so i didn't realize that when the light power went off and it came back on it messed up my click and grow time so or what i wanted to come on so i have them all on the counters and I'm going to unplug them and restart them on a new timer so I need to put it back over here on the shelf and go from there but anyway everything's doing really good indoors my hydroponic machines I have the Guardian which is doing amazing they were kind enough to send me out some of the um, what do you call those trellises so I can try the trellises I'm growing a lot of lettuce I am growing some mint there is some peppers here that I am growing that the trellis will help me with later on. Not currently right now because they're not as big, but I'm excited to see how that goes. And everything looks really good. I've been waiting for this moment to have this picture right here. I've been waiting for this. And look how quick that came. Look, I mean, it happened so quickly, right? I got my replacement, which I really messed up, y'all. I messed up. I need to go read an email. I messed up. I was supposed I was supposed to return the lid that was not working, but I didn't read that part. I didn't see that. I don't know. Maybe they communicated to me and I just overlooked it with everything that's going on. And um one of the kids trashed it. So I feel horrible. Extremely horrible. And I was just like, Do you want me to send this one back? Do I owe y'all some money? <laughs> oh my god. I feel horrible. It, I y'all feel horrible. So anyway, huh, I'm gonna work through that with them because I want to keep growing my food in the garden. I'm a, I'm I'm addicted to this machine. Now that I know how to grow in it, now that I know what I was doing wrong, what I'm doing right right now, now that I've gotten my food adjusted of what how I'm feeding my garden tower, I can't let it go. So whatever they need me to do, I have to work with these people, baby, because I I, I can't. I, I had to just sent him a message and I almost was like I'm sorry I'm so sorry I just thought it was trash and okay so then the click and grow has to stand we'll talk about all that later and but I can tell you this with the click and grow ma'am if you are into hydroponics or you want to get into it and you can afford to get into it the click and grow system is so simple so easy pour the water in drop the tablets the like uh, soil pods, bam, let it grow. The lights will come on and go off when it's supposed to. Let it grow. And it's so many um, starts that grow in one pod. I'm about to plant all that in my garden tower today. 
I am so excited. I'm about to thin them all out because it's only going to have so much space. And it, they grow so quickly that I feel like, yeah, they grow quickly. I don't even know. I wonder could I drop the whole, like, soil thing in the ground top. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. I might actually experiment with one. Oh, it's about to go down. So I'm excited. Um, so I'll show you the one that the two that's over here. Well, it's only one over here because I moved it because I thought something's wrong with the thing. But I'll show you that one and this one. So for this one over here, this one has I think hyssop, it has calendula, and maybe another um, like tea herb because I got a tea box to grow tea herbs because I was I was adamant about it. Y'all already know. Then the one that's over here by the sink has like lettuce and tomatoes, yellow tomatoes. And I don't, I forget what the other thing is. And then the one that's back here has more herbs, more like mint, basil, that type of situation. And when I say this stuff grows fast in this machine, I was not expecting like to see the tomatoes pop out that quick. Cause we all know tomatoes and peppers take a while hydroponically to even um, germinate. So bam. I don't know. I don't know. I was like, oh, if I had space, man, I was telling the kids, I was like, man, I got this shelf in my um, laundry room, right? And the shelf in my, but see, I couldn't put, I can't put the food in there because the washing dryer's in there and the temperature fluctuates. But yeah, okay. Just know, I just was thinking, where can I just have like a room, a wall? of everything growing. Just the wall of everything growing. I don't know how in my home. There's no space, there's no room, unless it's like upstairs in the hallway. Like, realistically, do you want food upstairs? <laughs> no, but I want like this room of food growing. And I was like, so I do have an empty closet in the front and I was thinking about getting the lights and a shelving unit and doing a grow tower in there. And it'll be free from dust, but it'll be in a closet. And it's just like a food closet. I don't know. Because if we call it our water closet, it would be like store water for emergency. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, did it again this year like I did last year. And I got my free seeds. So um, freelmcs.org, you go to their website and you have to follow directions. So this year it's donate $10 for every 15 packs of seeds, right? Let's just say you bought seeds from like Lowe's, Home Depot or somewhere, Walmart. And what are they, $2.49 or something like that? Or, and these are just your regular, regular everyday seeds. If you go online to like Baker Creek and who else? Um, I forget this other heirloom company that I've seen online. These seeds are like, let's say the lowest three something and the high threes up to like four or five dollars for these packs right so i donated twenty dollars and last year I actually donated ten dollars and got 15 packs plus i sent an additional five dollars just for donation or whatever because i wasn't sure what i was gonna think about the seeds and the seeds that was the collard green seeds are the seeds that you saw the collards in my grow tower and those big huge um collards that you saw because i had mustards and collards right that was in my grow and my garden the beds right so this video is going to be extremely long, y'all. So we're chatting, we're talking, but we're going to put some pictures. We're going to do something so y'all not bored with just seeing me. All right. So free heirloom seeds. You go to the website. You donate. I donated $20 this time, so I've received 30 packs of seeds. And the 30 packs of seeds would average about to be like between $100 and $120, okay? <laughs> ma'am all right so i'm thinking about going back on this month so the, the thing is every time you go on there as seeds are sold out then this the list gets shorter and shorter and shorter i think they update their list every february something like that but uh when i try to get seeds from them in july august july august sometime i couldn't get in there then all of a sudden it was open so i went in immediately um Send the donation through PayPal. You email them with your PayPal information, the seeds you want. For every $10, you put the block of seeds in order, like this. 15 seeds. Like, you know, and they all have numbers. So when they go to pull them out, they can pull them by order. So that's the first 15, then the second 15. You do it like that in groups. So make sure you follow directions. I'm not going to be able to see these on my glasses. But I'm going to try to tell you all what I picked up real quick. And then we're going to get started. So I'm going to go as fast as I can. So this is Tetsoi Black Knight. 
Um, this is the type of lettuce. I actually tried to grow this in that garden tower. Ended up having bugs on it from when it was over here by the door. This is Black Knight Kale. I've never grown this one. Okay, so the one thing about these seeds, it's going to say the name of it. It's going to tell you how many days. This one says 65 days. It says plant almost any time. It says thin to two to three feet apart, right? And then it says don't crowd. Thinning is... Um, oh, the thinnings are delicious in salad. So you can just take the thinnings and throw this. I do that anyway. Um, then it says to save seeds. Um, and it tells you how to save the seeds. Once your food is grown, let some bolt and save seeds. They want you to grow the food and save the seeds. Okay. This is just an initiative to get you growing. So for those who can't afford to buy these type of seeds, um, this is a really good deal for those of us who can't find these type of seeds in our local stores amazing deal if you just want to start growing it's your first time growing this is the deal for you this is get you started all right so the next one is purple um i think it's karabi and it tells you when to grow it so i love that this one is bachelor buttons mix so bachelor buttons a beautiful flower and you can't eat this it is edible this one right here is um uh, endive, endive lettuce. I bought a bunch of different endive uh, lettuces so we can try a bunch. I have a bunch going here of different varieties to see like what I like best. I know some of them have more nutrients than others, so I'm I'm ready for that. All right. So this now these seeds I can also grow hydroponically because I have the the things you drop the seeds in a little, you know, you drop them in and they grow the light. So I can grow these indoors too, and not just outdoors. This one right here is a type of onion. I think it's like a bunch of onion and stuff like that. Sorry if my nails are dirty. I've already been digging in this stuff. This is soil. And I'm actually growing that in one of these in the click and grow, which is really good for you for teas. It's good for your immune system. So, um, yeah, it's a really good herbal. It's a really good herb to grow. Okay. <laughs> Um, this one right here is red cell. This is that bold lettuce. It's that red lettuce, and I can't wait. <clears throat> this one right here is, um, it's a mix of aster. This one right here is, ooh, girl, I smell good. Red Russian kale. This is one of my favorites to air fry. I like chips with a little garlic powder, friend. <laughs> a little pink salt. I'm just saying. This one right here is little finger carrots. I'm going to drop these today for sure. I'm going to drop a bunch of these today just so you know. Um, this one is Takyoi. It's a type of cabbage, but this is a Chinese cabbage. I've been really big on growing Chinese herbs and foods. I actually bought a bunch of Chinese celery the other day. And what we had left over, I juice in this um, juice. I ended up doing Chinese celery, oranges, tangerines for the vitamin C in the fiber. And then I did ginger, of course, because I like to put a root in everything I juice um, for digestion. Okay. Um, it was so good. <laughs> the color was so vibrant and so good. It doesn't give you as much liquid as a Western variety of celery, of course, but it's packed with nutrients for antiviral, anti anti-inflammatory, and um, it's one more thing antibacterial it's, it's all packed in there and i was like give it to me okay so anyway this one right here is a uh, lilac bell sweet peppers it's probably like those purple peppers so yeah we'll be trying it next spring so this time around i'll be able to drop all of these seeds into like my um <clears throat> what's that one called <clears throat> into like my lead pot and grow let me show you real quick so next year, I'm hoping to be able to, like these certain seeds, drop them in here. And like, this is a tomato plant right here. They need to come out. And it will go into the grow tower today. So you see how I'm getting a head start on this? And I'm going to drop the whole thing in there and just let it go. And that'll give me the starts I need for um, outdoors. And it, they, it's so quick. Like, I just put that in there. I just put that in there like um, a week or so ago. Like two weeks, you can see the, the thing right there. I'll let y'all see that. <clears throat> All right, let me drink this tea, child. Ugh, it's not even hot no more. Oh, okay. 
So this one right here is a type of lettuce. And this is, I want to say bronze something. But I'll put it here. Hopefully you all can see it. Uh, it's so tiny. Purple uh, cone flower, which is, um, y'all know, uh, echinacea. Echinacea. I'm growing that over there too, I think. Or is it in a tower? It might be in a tower. Um, this one right here is white yarrow. I can't wait to grow yarrow. I can't wait to see how it looks. Um, I haven't been successful growing it, but I know now because of the temperature fluctuating outside, I will be dropping those in that let pot as starters and then moving them. So this is red shiso, and this is 85 days. It's going to be a minute, friend. going to be a minute. And this one says, um, to break dormancy, freeze the seeds prior to planting. I remember that. So I have to make sure I do that. This is Southern Giant Curl Mustard. These are the ones. You need to get these Southern Giant Mustards if you want those huge mustard greens like I had last year. You need to get these. Hopefully they're still available. I have a few left from last year and I planted them already in the garden. So I'll show you where I planted, planted them last year. The red mustard that was left, I planted a few of them already as well. Well, no, 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 no. The red mustard I had, uh, I planted actually came from Baker Creek this time. Yeah, so I still had some left over. So I'm excited about that. And the more you get, the more you can just store. So let me show you how to store mine. I store mine like this, which I need another container. I'll pick up another container in weeks to come for sure. Um, because I want to keep like the free heirloom seeds separate from these seeds. These are like store-bought seeds. And my... Um, Baker Creek seed. That's all I really buy is the ones from the store in Baker Creek. Um, greens, greens, greens. Uh, here we go. So these are the ones I planted this year for my mustard. And these are the curly ones. So I, you can tell the difference in these and the mustard you saw me grow last year. You can definitely tell the difference. So I'll be doing that. And I don't know where I'll put those ones. They might be behind me somewhere. I don't know where I put them. They're somewhere over here. Um, it's, they gotta be over here somewhere. Uh, it's a whole pack of seeds somewhere. Anyway, so keep going. This one right here is spring, and this is a type of broccoli. So this is gonna be that skinny broccoli, not that big head broccoli. That's what I want. Those broccolini type of situations. Um, this one here is fennel. I've been wanting to grow fennel for a while. Fennel and that other thing and leeks. I've been wanting to grow that. Even though it's $1.99 right now in my garden center, I'm gonna to try to grow it myself. I'm gonna plant that today in a bed that's empty and ready to go. This one right here is Eclipse Onion for pearls and bunching. So you can use the pearls and chop them up or use the bunching, um, the green stalks or whatever. Early mustards. This is a smaller, I think, variety of mustards. And this is from the Brassica family, and it's 45 days. So I don't know what this looks like or what it tastes like. But the one thing about me and my family, we're going to eat it anyway. Like my kids literally had a bunch of, uh, what you call it, bok choy the other day. And they washed it, chopped the bottoms, and they were just sitting here eating it with guacamole. I was like, what are y'all doing? And Chris was like, I love bok choy. And I, I was like, okay, we're growing it. We grew it last year, but I didn't know they liked it that much. All right, so this one right here is the Jaguar Lettuce. Never grown this one either. This is new for me too. This one right here is the Giant of Italy. Oh, this is parsley. This is that big parsley. Yeah, I'm hoping this grows. Hoping this grows. This one right here is the Giant Leeks. So, I don't know where I can put this because I don't know if I have space. So, giant leeks, so you can see. So, the goal for the giant leeks is, so it says 6 to 12 inches apart. It's, they get big, y'all. I don't know how long. Oh, 80 to 100 days, basically, right? So, what I think I'm going to do is try to get some soil delivered. The thing is, they drop it in your yard or your driveway. And you got to shovel it. But I have about 25 grow bags. I have some 5, some 10, and some 20-gallon bags. And I'm thinking about putting a lot of these seeds in this bag, these bags, and just loading up my entire back wall of my fence with a bunch of bags, like 20 bags, and just growing a bunch of food for fall 
and spring. And I mean, food that I can dehydrate, food that I can freeze, or that we can eat like then, right? So that's what I'm thinking of. My freezer probably has like six bags of mustards in it. <laughs> Out of all the 20 bags, they lasted me a year, basically. I've been, we saute mustards, put mustards in stuff they cook. They put them in the egg. Sometimes when they freeze and you crumble them, it's like spinach. But they use it for all kinds of stuff. So this one is red oak leaf lettuce. So I'm still thinking about doing that. I, I, I'll know for sure by the end of next week if I'm going to get the soil drop or I'm going to take my time doing a few bags. I really, I don't have wheel bear. I need a wheelbarrow so bad because I would have to shovel a truckload of dirt of soil by myself. I don't know if I can do it. I'm sure I could do it, but I don't know. I don't know, y'all. So I'm I'm hesitant, but I would love to have these grow bags with all these, like, so I can see how they grow. This one right here is Georgia Southern Collards. And then we have the... Uh, mammoth, I see, I don't know what this is. Satisfied Mammoth Sandwich Island. I don't know what this is. Direct so I don't know what this is. I'm going to look it up and put the picture on the screen. But I do not know what this is. I don't even know how I got this. I probably clicked it on accident. And the last one is Green Purslane. And I don't know what this is either. A little bit of seeds is probably a type of lettuce. All right. So those are my seeds. Um, oh my God, some seeds are all over my table now because I'm just tossing them on the table. So the girls um, are cleaning up this morning around the house. I've already done my room. And basically down here is pretty much clean. As you see, it's pretty much clean. Look at my, <laughs> my card, girl. My, my YouTube TV card. So I'm going to go ahead. Look at these seeds. I, I can't throw them away. I'm just going to throw them outside real quick. And wherever they grow, they grow. So I'm thinking I'm going to go pick up some stuff for them. They asked for bleach. And then we need a little bit more cleaner. They're washing clothes. And then, but before we go outside to start doing what I want to do outside, I need to film me thinning out these um, cooking grows, which you'll see on another video too, but you'll see it here. And I'm just going to put them on a wet Probably in like a little wet plate or something. A wet, I don't have paper towels. Maybe a wet towel. I'll wet a towel, put on a plate, and just sit them there and we'll transfer them outside. So let me throw these seeds outside that fell on my table. Cause we're not, baby, we're not, <laughs> we, we don't, we don't try seeds for him. Okay. And then I'm show you what's going on indoors. Thin out what's going on here. Thin out what's going on over here. I don't think I have to thin that one. And then we'll head outside when I get back from the store. I'm going to put this down here so y'all can see. So this one is Click and Grow. I'm not going to get into details about the machine until we do the video um, out of respect for the company. But um, this is the lettuce. Let me show you how quickly. God, this lettuce grew in like two weeks. Like, this is crazy. Um, these are all... So the, some of these have two in them. Ooh. Do all these have more than one in them? Okay, I'm going to show you. Let me just take one out. We can, start, we can actually start thinning these and eating off of these. But this is what it looks like. And as you see here, it has one, two. Oh, it's a lot in here. Girl, it's a lot. I got to take all this out. Because it's not going to grow like right if I have too many in here. Basically, look how many is in here. And I don't know where I can put these. It's not really time outside to put these anywhere. But anyway, this is the lettuce. So we'll just probably eat off of this like really soon and go from there. Man. Um. Anyway, so this is what I mean by when I say I need to thin these. I need to thin these so that the tomatoes can actually grow. So here's a smaller one, here's a bigger one. So maybe I'll just take the bigger one and let the small one take time growing. Yeah, I just want y'all to see. But all these have to be thinned. All these have to be thinned. And see, because this is behind the lettuce, 
it's kind of getting shaded. So I'm going to move these lettuces around um, like this. So this is the lighted maze. But this is calendula. Girl, this calendula. Look how many is in here. There's actually quite a bit of calendula in here. So we can definitely take something out. Yeah, see that? Take that one out. That leaves it some space. And then I just have a wet towel over here. Um, I'll show y'all when I'm done. Um, so even celery is hard to sprout for me, but you see it's already sprouting in there. When it, you know, comes all the way through, you take the top off so it can breathe. But so this is basil. We don't need this many sprouting at one time for sure. Look how many is in here. So my front yard has those garden boxes at the front by my door. I need to get some more soil. And when I do, I'll transfer all these herbs that have a lot in it um, to the front. And this is another yellow tomato. I'll transfer these to the front for sure. You know, this has uh, one, two, three. Look how many is in here. See, that's what I'm saying. It's like all their seeds germinate. I love it. All right, let me grab the other one and show you the other one. On my shelving unit where the cook and grow stays, this is at the bottom because I knew this would be the one that grew like the slowest. So whereas this is holy basil or holly basil, I could take this top off now. You can see it's starting to do its thing. Um, this is mint, mint, holly basil. Take this top off. Lemon balm, mint. Lemon balm, take this one off. Holly basil, lemon balm. So let me show you. I love lemon balm, so I can't wait for this one to grow. But these, I don't have to thin right now. I, I got time to thin these right now. So I'm actually thinking about moving these because I see how dusty this one is. It's near my laundry room, and I feel like it's kind of dusty. I don't know. I kind of feel like it's dusty, but anyway, look how pretty this calendula is. So I can definitely thin one of these out, and then I can, um, yeah, and then just grow one. Yeah, this gotta be. This is just. It's so dusty. It is so dusty over there. Let me get a sponge and wipe off the top some. I think it's just that area of, um, it might just be that area. I might have to move this and let it grow somewhere else. I just don't know where to let it grow. Um, so calendula, I have apple mint and I have catnip, which is good for tea too. It's really good for rest and relaxation. I have hyssop, which I've been trying to grow for years. I've never, ever, not one time, had seeds like germinate outside. So this will definitely go into the front yard box. I might just see if I can pull some, um, what do you call that? Some of my compost. And just, I just need a little bit. I just need a little bit of compost. So if I can get the compost going, then I'll plant this for sure today. Um, yeah. In my box. I'll at least plant up one box. I'll at least try to do that. Today with you all in the front. Yeah, see how much is growing here. So I don't know if you're supposed to thin these or not. But I'm gonna Dang, it smell like straight up lemons or something. This smells good. <laughs> but I'm about to thin this one. Cause I want to see if I can grow that front box real quick. And then this is soil, which is outside in one of those towers. So this one, I'm like, it's, I'm going to take it anyway. Yeah, I'm just trying to pull it nicely so I can keep the root intact. And then I'll drop them outside. This one actually needs some more water in it. Yeah, see? It's dusty. It's dusty, dusty, dusty. But it's all good. I might have pulled this one too quick. All right, let me put some water in here and then we'll figure it out when I get back. 
All right, while the water's coming out the machine, I actually pulled this one out the other day out of one of the lettuces, and I just set it in water. So I'll put this in the front too. This will go in the front to um, to put in that box, and then I pulled this one out from that machine over there. And this is arugula. So we're gonna plant all this today, for sure. All right, let me show you my things so far. All right, so, so far these are the ones I pulled out and I'm just going to, it's a wet paper towel. I mean, it's a wet towel. I'm gonna try to do it like this to keep the roots wet. Like that. All right, so let's get some water in here. This is the uh, reverse osmosis water, and yeah, that's it. I feel like I need to clean these these like water tanks up, but it don't look nowhere near dirty like that machine. I think it's because the garden machine actually runs water through your, you know, food. But anyway, okay, let me put this one back. <sighs> My garden box at the front door was extremely dry, so I just drenched that thing because it didn't get rain over here. So I went through and watered as much as I can. It's wet, wet, wet. There's still some light. You can kind of see it. <sighs> I'm going to take... Is this ants or is this water? Okay, so I'm going to take this box and put um, all this in here and try to keep up with it. And then the other box... I'm gonna do seeds. This way, I, I know to keep up with watering um, this one. I need to put root stimulator on here, one second. The ideal situation would be to, um, yeah, let's just take root. Would be to put them in like little small cups, but I'm not doing that. Nope, I'm not doing that. I don't feel like doing all that. I know somebody thinking, girl, that is not going to take. I've had stuff take before by doing it like this, so I just figured why not try it again? Why not? You know? Who knows? But I know... I'd be more inclined to take care of it because it's right here. Well, this one I don't really have to worry about too much. Because that has that thing that's going to support it. And then tomorrow, I'll do the backyard since it's raining again. I don't want to get too wet. We'll probably just hang out in the backyard tomorrow. It don't rain too much. So I'm just putting a little bit on the ends. That's all. If it take, it take. I think the flowers will probably take faster than the actual lettuce. I don't know. But even if it just grows a little bit, I'll just transport them. To the backyard and the towers when they get bigger. That's all I really want to do. Um, yeah. That's about it. That's all I'm going to probably do today because so much going on. Just got back in the house actually, but. Yeah, so this will probably be it. I'm just going to do this one more. I don't know if this one's going to catch or not because it's so little. 
probably should just let the inlay grow top up for just a little bit longer. And they hang whatever good. So here's everything, right? I just have to remember to come out here and make sure everything's watered and taken care of. I'll probably come out here tomorrow at fish fertilizer just with a little bit of water, just a little bit. I just want the root stem later to kind of work first. All right, let's see if we can grow this one in here. The fennel, purslane, I think it's the lettuce, red shisho, which takes forever, um, the jaguar lettuce, and the another lettuce, the bronze, bronze lettuce, I think is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, hopefully they don't eat I still my seeds, but I'm gonna put them in here anyway. I'm just gonna sprinkle them on top and then throw some dirt on top. I'm so well on top, that's all. I'm steady dropping my seeds on this wet ground. So I'm just gonna seed it heavily. Like I said, I'll sprinkle a little bit of soil on top and then I don't, I don't have to worry about much or nothing. And the lettuce seeds are so tiny. I have to remember that they're in here. Yeah, so this is, I don't know what this is, red shoe so I definitely have to look this up. Yeah, I'm gonna look this one up. That is, um, what's that, rosemary? It'll grow back. Oh, will it? Or maybe not. It's got a little green on it. I'm gonna put it somewhere else. See if it comes back. What is this, fennel? No, that's it. Okay. This one is. I'm put fennel on this side. And hopefully, we actually get some this year. Hmm. A little bit more than that. I don't, I'm probably won't even thin these out for sure. Man, all this is pretty dry, so I'm gonna have to wet it again. I guess I'm gonna put too much on top at all. All right. All right, so by the way, oh, where did I put those? I'm gonna put these seeds back over here before I forget. They'll be in my pocket and I'll wash my clothes. Um, before I forget, I went to Dollar General and they have all their outdoor stuff half off, so. If you're looking for like gloves or um, any of their like four for a dollar, are they four over there? They're two for a dollar pack seeds. There'll be 25 cent. I just picked up a few to add to my um, box because I always grow the sturgeons. You know, we like to put these on salads or whatever kind of peppery leaves. And um, I was thinking about growing the sturgeons kind of close to the end of fall to see what happens. See if they'll grow like fall, winter, like time, and then plant more for spring. So we'll see. Because our spring is so short, once the heat comes, they die back or whatever. But they taste really good and they're so pretty. So anyway, I did pick up some gloves. So this would have been fifty cent. This would have been fifty cent. These were a dollar. How much did I think these were? I could have got the girl some. I don't know. I think I thought the sign said something else. Anyway, it's the ones with that sticky stuff on the inside. And then oh, I'm tripping. I'll go back tomorrow. So this one was three fifty. So I think I thought they were all three fifty. These are the thicker gloves or whatever. Got those like yard work type of situation. These were the uh, uh, two dollars. So they were a dollar. Cucumbers. I just picked up some seeds and stuff. Nothing like fancy. So it's raining again. So I can't go back outside. Everything looks really good from the rain, which is oh, man. 
Y'all don't know. It's just, it's a blessing, girl. Because I'm just saying. I did go ahead and grate up my um, lemongrass that I, I uh, picked up from the garden. I grated the lemongrass. I did the um, grate on the ginger. Threw it in the oven for about, it was on 170. And it was for a couple hours. I actually forgot it was in there. So let me show you. And then the other day when I did the juice with the orange and the celery from the Chinese celery, I used the orange peels and the tangerine peels and just chopped them up real good because they were washed, you know, and I dehydrated them too in the oven. So they taste really good in teas. This smells so good. <laughs> this smells so good. <laughs> That's what y'all know. Golly. So for the ginger, um, hold on. Oh, y'all can barely see it. But anyway, let me just do this. So for the lemon balm and the lemongrass that you saw me dry when I cut it from the green stalk outside, I went ahead and put it in the blender with the lemongrass and lemon balm. Just blitzed it, right? Just kind of like, what you call it? Pulse it. And then the hibiscus, I pulsed it too. So this is my tea herb for the week, my tea blend. Uh, for me and the kiddos, I try not to put too much lemon balm. They don't be drink this at night, so they get a little sleepy for you. Okay, so it is hibiscus, it is dried ginger, it is lemon balm, <laughs> and uh, lemongrass. I'm about to have a tea right now, and then I kept the citrus separate. This right here because. I like to have this with lemon balm just by itself. This or mint, this and mint, or this and lemon balm, the orange. But I'm gonna put it in glass. I'm gonna show you what it looks like for it. It's gonna be some good tea, okay? Make that tea thick, don't it? Oh, uh, me and my good girlfriend went out to the outlet today. <laughs> After I went to Dollar General, y'all, that's why I can't go outside because now it's storming on us. But we did go out to the outlet today and they had the, girl, look. <laughs> girl, you got to take your food with you, friend. When you roll it, you got to take your food with you. They had the... Plugins like on sale for two dollars and something, two ninety five or something. So they had this new scent called um, Strawberry Pound Cake. Get, I got these for the girls' room. Strawberry Pound Cake. Let me get my nails recorded now. And then they had the new one called Ocean Oceanside Palm, which will go into the bathrooms. I'll just put these in all three of the bathrooms. And then they had, oh, this one. I'm going to put this one in my room. This one is Wicked Vanilla Woods. So maybe in the hallway, I might do that upstairs. Wicked Vanilla Woods. It smells really good. Like vanilla and some woody notes, right? Um, So I got that. Can't let this one speak too long. Because it get dark. You see how dark this got that fast? Hold on. Oh, I can put it here. then I'll just come back to it. 
Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot, but it's good. All right. Um, what else I do? Yeah, you know, I took a towel with me. Okay. I went to Trader Joe's too. Um, I got them these pretzel bites. I was so hungry in the outlet and I bought these pretzel bites. I did not know they pour butter on them. I did not know that, y'all. And now that I open a pack, I can smell them. So I ate like two or three of these just to kind of tide me over, but I can't eat butter. I can't eat butter anymore. Like butter makes me sick. So I gotta get up to Tara. Um, I picked up the kids some of these. I opened the taste ones, see if they taste like. And they don't have dairy, but you know, it's junk. So I just tasted one. But I got these for the kids, the pumpkin flavor. JoJo's at Trader Joe's. They like these, but it's the other ones they had last year. And I want to say the cookie was spicy, but the inside was something else. But this is like pumpkin spice. So this reminds me of pumpkin and ginger snaps, like mixed together type of thing. The taste, this was good. So um, they have that. I didn't buy a lot. I ate while I was out, I did eat. And I ate the creamy hummus and vegetable wrap. They put way too much hummus on here. You see, it's all inside the container. I had to scoop it out. But um, this was really good. I've eaten these before, though. I, I, it's just like having a bunch of vegetables with hummus, but the wrap isn't raw. So it's like a like a plant-based vegan type of meal. Um, now, I did buy these, and I'm, I'm assuming these are raw. Let me put them in the refrigerator. And these are jicama wraps. Uh, thinly sliced jicama, great for tacos. So... I'm going to try some raw taco wraps probably tomorrow because that wrap is so, has so much in it. I am full. That's why I want it, like tea or coffee right now. I feel like I need to push this food down. It just says the ingredients is jicama. So I don't know. 15 calories? I'm, I'm just going to use them and make raw tacos tomorrow. And so I'll film it and put a short up for it so y'all can see too. And then I'll tell y'all do I think it's worth it or not. Or, you know, what they taste like. Then, of course, some walnuts for my walnut milk and my walnut tacos and whatever else I eat with walnuts. These are raw walnut halves. But these are going in my container in the refrigerator. Um, that's it. I didn't buy that stuff. I'm telling you, she went to the Trader Joe's. My friend I was with, she needed to stop at Trader Joe's. I just picked up a few little things while I was there. That, that, that wasn't mine. That wasn't my ministry today, for example. Yeah. Anyway. Girl. So this is why I like hibiscus as a base for tea. It's the same consistency. The thickness of coffee. It is the same consistency. So it doesn't feel like tea. It feels like a sweeter, really soft, smooth, like coffee. Yeah. I'm going to see that. Ooh. I'm going to go. And I'm out. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, my shenanigans today. <laughs> I've been all over the place. But I didn't want to cl not close out the video, right? So maybe I should edit this real quick and just let it go up today. What time is it? Yeah, why not? It's not going to go up in time. <laughs> I need to let that Shaper Mint video go up that they keep saying I'm doing it wrong. Um, yeah, we'll just see. Whatever goes up, goes up. I love y'all so much. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate you all. I would love to hit 100 by December. I'm going to put that out there. I'm going to say it out loud. I'm going to manifest it. Let's go, friend. Let's get in that prayer closet and make it happen. Okay? See y'all in the next one. Peace and blessings.